All right, shalom, shalom, shalom. There's another very important, important thing while I'm doing this series on biblical Israel. First of all, it needs to be understood that Yahweh, uh, the king of the universe, all right, he did not choose Israel because they were black. Because all the nations in that region at that time were all black. They all possessed black skin. Um, so he didn't pick them because they were black or they had black skin. Unlike many people try to present it today. He picked them simply because, and he chose them simply because he loved them. That's it. He just shed his love upon them. He could have chosen anybody he wanted to, but he chose to bring forth his people through the seed of Abraham, through Isaac, through Jacob, through Avram, through Yitzhak, through Yachabo, through Moshe, on down to Dawid, all the way up to the Messiah. So Yahweh did not choose Israel simply because they were black people. He chose them simply because he shed his love upon them. And I think that's the focus that people need to put into their hearts and their mind the whole entire time. You can slam it. Um, that's all there is to it. And so, you know, today we have a lot of people who fly under the radar perception uh, with racism and try to, you know, one up somebody else simply because of the nature of their skin tone or the hue of their skin or not. Um, Israel is so scattered and has been scattered into every nation like the prophecies say. And you can try your best to try to really truly know a lot of them by flesh and blood, which can easily be identified, but you're going to know them pretty much more or less anything by the spirit that they have, because there are a lot of people, both black and white, that possess the nature of Esau. And so you can't really truly put stock simply because someone has a hue to their skin uh, to say that they are Israel, because there are a lot of people who are, um, who are born in this country, are black, that actually um, uh, kind of like the mixed multitude that came out of Mizraim. Um, they were Africans or Hamites, and, and they end up getting bleached out, um, mulattoes and, or whatever other superlatives you want to put with it. But, you know, flesh and blood shall not inherit the kingdom of Yah. And that's not saying that I'm ignoring the obvious fact that Israel was a black nation. Um, but, hey, the people over in that region in the east, they're not deceived. Um, you know, the prime minister of Egypt, as well as those other people, clearly they made a statement in the 50s and 60s, uh, right, you know, right, right after the Belfall Agreement uh, in 1948. And they, they just straight up told them people, we cannot accept you because there's no way that Israel can leave here black and come back white. And you people are acting like the people. Now, I know many of you are ignorant of people because you have a lot of news media and sources today that are practicing collusion. And remember, Satan is the great deceiver. Uh, he has n nowhere in your mind or spirit for you to ever to ret retain the truth, learn the truth, and know the truth. He is a master deceiver. But remember, just like Yah always had his holy people, his holy men of Yah, uh, that would raise up their voice and not be quiet in the midst of a wicked and perverse generation, so does the Most High have his men in this day and hour that we live in that are doing the same thing. Israel is crying aloud and not sparing. Uh, and they're bringing forth the truth. And, and the only thing that incites the passion and rage inside of a men or men's hearts today is when truth is being told. People don't get offended by telling lies. They get offended because the truth that has been pressed down has now risen to the top. And, and uh, again, um, most people, and it's just the truth, that of a white skin uh, would rather just jump off into the eternal lake of fire before they would ever twist their lips and tongues to submit and not only submit but to show the kind of love towards myself and my fellow Jew Yehudites or Israelite brethren like they have shown to this false crypto Jews or these false crypto Israelis that are over there today. And it's just a sad situation. But what it does, it speaks to the conditions of the mindsets that we're dealing with today. And it's just a fact. But remember this, flesh and blood shall not inherit the kingdom of Yah. Um, I'm not one to put any confidence in the flesh. But if I did, I could say, hey, I'm circumcised of the tribe of Judah, um, a Hebrew of the Hebrews. So if my pedigree is ever in question and stuff, you have no 
Father, to look at my lifestyle, my trials, and my tribulations because not only do I preach the gospel, but I live it. Shalom.